Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, um, my original plan isn't working so well. I wanted to come out to Clearwater Beach today to do some filming out here because I wanted to see what kind of B-roll and shots I could get with the new camera out on the beach. It's been great weather lately, and it was very cool out this morning, and it's still cool out now, except for it's raining. And I just checked the weather report, and we've got a 60% chance of rain for the next four hours. So I had a bunch of Pokemon Go updates to go over, but first I gotta find a place where I can do it. So I'm gonna get off the beach and get back over towards home, and I will catch you guys when we can go over the updates. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've tried and tried and tried, and... If you can't hear, it's still raining outside. It's now uh, a quarter after six and the sun's gone. I was hoping to have a better intro video to this camera outside, but we'll have to put it to the test another day because today just wasn't my day. I wasted money paying for parking at the beach the second I stepped out of the car, it started raining. I waited out almost all of my hours worth of parking it wouldn't stop raining i drove to a park the park was closed because the sun was setting and it was raining so they cut it early i was going to try to do it under like they have the gazebos and stuff there and it didn't work out so anyways there is a lot of pokemon go news i woke up to this morning and i'm really excited about it so Thanks to a couple of gaming, shout out to them, link always in the description. The first event we're going to have in November is going to be from November 19th to November 26th, Super Effective Week. So, as part of Super Effective Week, the features are going to be strong Pokemon against Team Go Rocket and other trainers in the wild, raids, and field research. So hopefully that means, for those of you out there like me, that have been struggling with the Team Go Rocket leaders and not looking forward to Giovanni at the end, these should help us at least get candies for it. Now the next part of it, because of what I have to do to continue beating them, this will help replace that. Two times Stardust from Trainer Battles, more potions and revives from Poke Stops. I'm not really a fan of that, but it'll help, I guess. And a guaranteed Charge TM from three Star Raids, but, but, Thanks to Niantic not doing a single event lately without putting out a new shiny, we will have, boom, shiny tentacle and shiny tentacle. These have got to be two of my favorite shinies. They're both different shades of purplish, bluish with those emerald green eyes on them. And then like gold tentacles. It's a really cool looking shiny. It's one of my favorites. I really like it. I'm going to be hunting like that one for crazy. And with the beach and downtown Clearwater and downtown St. Pete spawning water Pokemon like crazy, hopefully I will be able to snag that. Next event we're going to be looking at is from November 26th to December 27th. And that is going to be Terrakian Raids. That's going to be the next of the dogs in this trio coming out. It is going to be probably one of the easiest raid bosses they're getting ready to release. Um, it has a lot of weaknesses. It's weak to fairy, fighting, grass, ground, psychic, steel, and water. Your best counters are going to be Mewtwo with Confusion, Psy Strike, Metagross, Bullet, Me Bullet Punch, Meteor Mash, Alakazam, Confusion, Psychic, uh, Confusion, Psychic, Espeon, Latias, Zen, Headbutt, Psychic, and Jirachi with Confusion and Doom Desire if you've powered that up, if you've put Candy and Dust into it. This is going to be one of your times to get out and show off that Jirachi. I may or may not do it. I've already got to spend dust. We'll see what happens. Um, its move set possibilities are going to be Smackdown and Zen Headbutt and then Charged Earthquake, Close Combat, and Rock Slide. Its catch CPs will be at the floor 2026 and 100% 2113 weather boosted. It's going to be 2533 for the floor and 24, 6, or 2641 for the hundo. It's a pretty cool looking legendary and it's going to be 
the second best ground type attacker in the game after its stat buff. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how many of these raids I'm going to be doing because I'm still on my no spending money hiatus in Pokemon Go, but thanks to GetUpside, not a sponsor, I just use them a lot. If you guys are interested in knowing what GetUpside is or how I use it to get coins for free in game, let me know and I'll make a short video about it. But long story short, I got a free $10 gift card from them, so I'm gonna use that gift card to buy a box for community day so maybe i'll buy the one with the raid passes and just a few incubators and save the raid passes for when this comes out we'll see and last but not least of the three events friend fest from november 27th to december 2nd and this you're going to see family themed pokemon and their evolutions in the wild and in research tasks and they're advertising here nidoran nitto king and nitto queen and their evolutions which for Nidoran, Nidoran, and Nitto Queen, those can be shiny in the wild. Nidoran, on the other hand, all I know is Nidoran itself can be shiny in the wild. They're also bringing back half Stardust trade cost, attack boost, even more attack boost when battling with friends, and two special trades a day. That's really cool. I'm really happy about that. I'm really excited about that because I like to do a lot of re-rolls on stuff. And when you can only do one a day, that's a pain. I also have a lot of stuff that both of my parents need that we got from traveling to Japan, Montreal, Europe, all of those trips. So if I can do two special trades a day, you know, I can give my dad one, get my mom one, get those out of the way. And then my wife and I can go back and forth on doing our normal re-roll special trades without my mom yelling at me that she still needs her special trade and I haven't done it yet. But thanks to Couple of Gaming, again, always shout out to them for the infographics that took care of this. Um, this video is going to be going live tomorrow morning, which is Friday, and then tomorrow, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing. It's probably gonna be just a regular day in the life of Echo Vlog and covering what's gonna be going on for Chimchar Community Day, what we're going to be doing for that. Um, my wife was supposed to be off tomorrow, but now she is going to be working an extra day because we're going out of town, and you know, she likes those overtime hours, so she's gonna be working tomorrow. I've gotta to go get this hair and beard and everything cleaned up for our trip. So I'm gonna do that in the morning and figure out what that video is going to be. I'm still trying to do this daily grind of at least getting one video out a day which is why i'm kind of upset about today because i really wanted to go out and make an awesome video with these new announcements that came out but the weather just didn't permit it but i'm going to stick to my word i'm going to grind out these videos one video a day period i don't care if it's a three minute hi how's everybody doing video a pokemon go update video a tcg video i'm looking into streaming very soon but I'm very new to that, so if any of you out there know how to set up like a streaming PC, and I know I've already got the Elgato piece to use my actual camera as my webcam and my mic, that's all set up. I, however, do not know a thing about uh, capture cards, streaming PCs, anything like that. The last thing I set up was a gaming PC, and I don't know if streaming and gaming PCs are the same thing. If you guys know anything about that and can help me out, please drop me something down in the comments to let me know you'd be willing to help and I can reach out to you on Twitter, email, whatever works for you. That would be great. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm going to do a small plug real quick. I don't like to do them often, but I'm going to. If you like the content and ever feel like helping me out, my Patreon is always down in the description. I currently have two Patreons. They have been my longest supporters. They are the greatest. There's also Brian, Monoxide Child. He takes care of my Discord and other stuff. Everybody supports in their own way. If you can't support with money, remember, liking the video, subscribing, commenting, interacting with me, it's all helpful. But none of this stuff is free, so every now and then I have to plug the Patreon and get it over with as much as I don't like to. I also have a PayPal in there. If you don't feel like doing monthly donations, you can just do 
one here and there. Again, it's never a requirement. I just throw it out there in case anybody ever feels like supporting the channel. Anyways, moving on from that. And while editing the video, I realized that clip you're about to just finish watching, it died on me. Don't know why, still getting used to the new camera setup. I'm actually kind of surprised though that the video quality just in my car with the new setup, the lighting for it being dark, and yes, I recorded that in a McDonald's parking lot because it was the only place I could find with an LED light and their parking lot lights did pretty well. It did a lot better than my old camera did. So pretty excited about that. I also did figure out what I'm going to make tomorrow's video about. So it's going to be another cool one. It's going to be another Pokemon Go related one. So we are going to get back to the grind a little bit. Anyways, I got to finish this video. I got to finish dinner. I'm going to get back to it. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Catch you in the next one.